Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to Gwyneth, Erica, Juanita, Dawn, Karen, Elizabeth, Bam Bam, and Mildred. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside and let's begin today. What are we going to make today? Today, we're going to mass make some tabs. So we're going to make some tabs out of tickets. So here's an example of a ticket, and I just used that example to cut myself some strips. Different kinds of paper I use. They are, mm, let's see here, I think they're all uh, Roxy's Creation papers, scraps from her papers. And this little tag, these are about, about a little over an inch wide. And we're going to cut them to about two and a half inches, not quite. Alrighty, so let's just do that. So I've already got my strip cut, and I'm just going to lay this here just for helping me cut. So we've got our Fiskars mini pinking shears, and I'm just making the cut right at the ends with the shears. And then what I need to do is I need to bring in my hole punch, just the regular size, and barely put it in at the corner and just punch it so you're taking out just a little bit of the corner. So that's the easiest way I know how to do it. So let's just make a few of these, maybe in a couple of different colors. and then we will put them together. So I just think they're really cute and quite handy to have to add onto a page in a junk journal or maybe you'll want to add it onto a piece of ephemera. So let's see, let's grab maybe this pretty little blue one right here, this little piece. So I'm just going to cut that right there. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. If it's just a little wider, if it's a little longer, it's all okay. It does not have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. These, these are chunk journals, right? So I'm just taking the little corners right out of here using my hole punch. And I'm going to do this one right here. That's a pretty little green one, isn't it? That is was off an Easter paper. and. I thought, you know, I can still use the Easter paper, even though it's Eastery. I'll just use parts, and I'm just going to go around what maybe the uh, what it says, Happy Easter. I can just go around that, or maybe I can just cover it up. All right, so I've got all of them ready. So now I got. I need to bring in my ink, my little sponge. Now, if you don't ink, then of course you don't have to do this step. But this one I see needs to have a little bit of, didn't, didn't get that pinking shear cut on that one. So I did that quickly and let's just do this. Now, the next thing I want to do after inking all of these up, you don't have to ink the inside. All right, move this out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it. So we're just going to fold them right in half, just like that. And I'm going to fold this one in half. We're going to fold them all in half, every one of them. Now I have made a few of these, so I'll bring them in. And once you prep, meaning you get all of your little items that you're going to use to put them together, it just goes lickety split once you get all of the things you want to add to your tabs together. So the next thing let's do is let's decide, let's see, I'm going to turn them all this way because this is the way I want to put them because you're going to be adding them. This is just a signature that's not sewn together. It's ready for a journal. Is you're going to be placing these onto your page like this. They're going to be tabs for your page, right? So Let's, by thinking of that, you, you probably wouldn't want to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. So all of the openings are going to be like that. Okay. 
I have some music paper and some book page that I've ripped and I have inked around the edge. I have some buttons. I have some flat back pearls right here. Whoops. There we go. We see that better. I have some buttons that I've actually tied a little bit of embroidery thread. I tied a bow and I actually took my little um, container of watered down white school glue and I made sure that I glued my knots so they would not come undone. I've got those. I have some paper flowers here. I removed the center. I have some pre-bought ribbon flowers and I have some little tiny um, they're kind of silk flowers, I guess you could say, right there, little tiny ones. And then I have some little pieces of, scrap pieces of flat lace, just like that, just in case we want to use some of that. So let's go ahead and let's begin. What I want to do here, let's look at this. How about if we add a little bit, maybe a book page right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right on here and I'm just going to add my book page on there just like that. And maybe let's see, how about if we add a little bit of lace? But instead of laying it on the outside, how about if we glue it right here on the inside? If I can get it to do that. And what that would do is it would just stick out a little bit just like that. It wouldn't be a lot, but it would be just enough to give it a little flavor of lace. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue. And I'm using hot glue because it's quick, it's easy, and it's great for a video. Now look, see, I didn't glue it closed because once you want to go ahead and use this, then you would put glue on either side and you would place it right on your page like that. And see, you can still see that lace right there. Can you see that lace? I think that looks great. Let's go ahead and add a little something else to this. We could add a flower. We could add, how about if we add a, um, a little uh, button with a little bit of embroidery thread as a bow. So how about if we do this? It looks just like that. And then you can take it and you can place it wherever it is that you would like to put this thing. And you could glue it right on just like that. Absolutely adorable. Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see. So let's continue on. Let's grab this one that's such a pretty green color, I think. And do I want that side or this side? I think I want this side. And maybe let's put a little bit of um, music paper down. So I'm going to just lay this down here and actually I think I will lay a little bit of lace right on top and then I'm going to lay my music paper on top of that lace and I think I'm going to put it at an angle and then let's bring in maybe a little flower and let's pop that flower right down right here right on that just like that. I'm going to add a little bit more blue so that stays down. There we are. Now let's grab a, I need a little bit of glue on this one, don't I? Let's grab a little bit of, um, let's see here, shall we? I think I'm going to use a darker pearl right there. And I guess I can go ahead and hopefully I get that on in time. Yeah, perfect. The hot glue does set up quickly. And look how pretty that one is. That one's beautiful. Put it right on. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So we've got those two. Let's do maybe a um, another one just real quick. So I'm just looking at my time. And let's see here. Let's put another uh, uh, piece of lace right on the inside. And once again, we're not gluing this shut. We're just putting it on there just so it sticks out just a little bit. And let's put, oh, let's put this, um, okay, let's see, we haven't used one of these yet. Let's put one of these down. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit more lace on here. 
So I'm going to add the lace and then let's add this ribbon flower. And this doesn't have any music paper or book page. Isn't that one sweet? Very, very sweet. And you just glue it and you would glue it and get it on there. We'll glue it just like that onto the page. I think they're wonderful. So we have these three and have we used everything that we have? I do believe we have. Now maybe you just have some flat back pearls and you don't have anything else. Well let's go ahead and, and address that. So let's just add a little bit of this flat lace and it just came on a bolt at the at the fabric store actually and I just purchased it when it was on sale and let's say that maybe you just have some flat back balls so let's grab a few of those and let's get them down here so I can pick them up and let's put three on here so I'm just going to add my glue and I think I'm going to oops sorry about that guys <laughs> a weather alert what's new right Everyone's getting weather these days. Let's just add that right on there, maybe just like that. There we go. Super duper simple. Just two little pearls with a little bit of lace, and it's really quite adorable. Absolutely adorable. Nothing to it. So let's look at some others that I have put together. Let me just put these dishes together like this. <laughs> Shall we say we clean the table up a little bit here? <laughs> Alrighty, move these all out of the way. And let's bring in what we have made, or some others that I have made. Here's another one with a silk flower and some lace. There. And I have one with the lace and the, the embroidery thread on the button. Here's a brown one. I really like this brown one. It doesn't have any lace at all. I think that's really pretty. And then we have this one. And there's this one. That's very different too. Just a little bit of thread through the button with a little bit of lace. And another one with the pearl. And then this is this is one that's the pink. I absolutely love these. I think these are excellent, and I'm going to put some onto my pages. I'm making three of these little journals, and I'm going to go ahead and place some on my ends of edges of my paper. Before I do that, though, we're going to have our drawing for Happy Mail, and what's this all about? If you would like to join in the hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, all you have to do is spread happiness towards another person simple acts of kindness, letting someone in line of traffic, letting someone in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they have two. We don't know what someone's going through, but sometimes just simple acts of kindness will just give them just enough hope for them to keep going. And that's what we need to do, guys. We need to just keep going. Keep our spirits up and keep going. So if you choose not to tell me what your act of kindness is, because you're going to tell me in the most recent hashtag, Kathy Sewing Happiness, because we have a drawing every single Sunday. You enter this Sunday, you'll come back next Sunday because that's when your name may be pulled out of the fishbowl. If you don't wish to tell me your act of kindness, you need these two words, spreading happiness, and that will be your entry. So let's see who wins. And what do you win? You win Happy Mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. And you'll need to check back because if I don't have your address, I cannot send you Happy Mail. So who is the winner this week for hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness and the receiver of Happy Mail? If you give me your address, Carrie Ray. Carrie, you have won Happy Mail this week as my way of paying it forward. You guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.